Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make steamed cassava cake dessert. They're really delicious. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredient and let's get the cooking started. First, I will add some water into the steamer and then put it on the stove over high heat and bring that to boil. Now I will use 1 pound or 16 ounces of grated coconut into the plate and then I will mix that with a half a teaspoon of salt. I will use my hand to break the coconut up and then mix everything, the salt and the grated coconut together until they are very well combined. Now it looks great. Now I will put the coconut into the steamer and steam for about 10 minutes to prevent the coconut to go bad or spoil. I will add two bags of grated cassava, about 16 ounces or 1 pound or 454 grams into the mixing bowl. If you're able to find the fresh one, you can use that one. For me, I was unable to find the fresh one at my local Asian store, so I will use the frozen one. Look like 10 minutes has passed and our grated coconut is done steaming, so I will set that aside for later use. Alright, so now come back to the cassava mixture. I will add about 3 quarter cup of sugar. I am using stevia, so you can use any sweetener of your choice. This is the tapioca starch brand that I used. And add 1 half cup of tapioca starch. This will help set the cassava cake. I will add about quarter teaspoon salt in there to balance the sweetness of the dessert. I am using the pendant flavoring essence, about one teaspoon in there just to bring up the flavor of the pendant in there. If you don't have the pendant essence, you can use a vanilla extract or any other flavoring. For coconut milk, I will use about 250 ml or 1 cup of coconut cream. If you don't have coconut cream, you can use coconut milk. That is perfectly fine. The coconut milk or coconut cream will bring more rich flavor into the dessert. Now I'm going to mix everything together, make sure they are very well incorporated. The greening thing is the pendant essence, so make the cassava a little bit greeny, that's okay. And this cake is so great to make for any gathering party, any, any event, any holiday anytime you want to eat it so okay that looks good now I'm gonna transfer into the baking pan I am using the silicone cake pan the 9 by 9 inches cake pan so that it won't stick to the pan so it's really easy to come off so Let's go ahead and pour that in. If you not put it into the steamer first, then this baking pan is really not sturdy to take it to the steamer. So I put it the baking pan into the steamer before I put the batter in there. So it would make it much easier to move around. And if you haven't used the Silicone cookware, I am totally recommend it because it's so much easier to bake, to steam, to cook anything with the silicone cookware. Okay, so just spread that evenly. If you don't have the silicone, you can use any 
baking pan you have, so I just tap it a little bit, shake it. All right, now it looks good, so it will go into the steamer. Okay, so here it goes. I will steam this cassava cake for about 30 minutes. So we will come back and check it after 30 minutes. I said earlier that I will steam about 30 minutes, but I actually steam about 35 minutes, close to 40 minutes. So now it looks like it's done steaming. And when you tap it, there's no watery consistent on it then that looks good. If you saw like watery in there, you can use a paper towel to like dab into the cake to like absorb all the water. All right, so I will take it out from the steamer and let it cool down completely. I forgot to take a video when I take off from the pan. So as you can see here, it come off easily and it very well firm. So all this string are from the core of the cassava and that is fine. When you eat it, you can just take it out from your mouth or when you saw it, you can just take it out. And you can slice into any shape of your choice. So after I'm done slicing the dessert, I was roll it over on the grated coconut that we steamed earlier. Continue until you are done with all of the dessert. Use plastic wrap to wrap your knife before cutting the cake and it will prevent the knife from sticking. Here is the final result of my steamed cassava cake dessert. It's so delicious and smells amazing. All right, everybody, now is the time to taste our cassava dessert. Yeah, look at it. It's so pretty, so beautiful and soft, chewy. Let's taste it. Mm. It's really good. Really soft, creamy from the coconut milk. A little bit chewy from the coconut flake, so it's just heavenly. It's just amazing. The sweetness is pretty good. So if you want to check more dessert recipe, check on this playlist and give this recipe a try. I will see you next time.